Hey, this is Scott Welsh. It's November 18th, 2015, and this is this week's trading video. Wanted to do a video this week because I thought it might be a little bit easier to explain this concept that I've been uh, rolling around in my head for the past several weeks, and that is the day trading carry trade. Ooh, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Well, it was a kind of a shocker to me, and I found this little phenomenon kind of by accident. But first, let's talk really briefly about the carry trade. I mean, what the heck is the carry trade? Well, first of all, it's only in Forex. And honestly, it's just a little bit opaque explaining what the carry trade is. So I'll try to make it simple for my own brain and for your brain. Basically, when you trade Forex, you're trading one currency versus another. And interest rates in one country obviously are different than the interest rates in another country. So the interest rates for the Australian currency is different than the interest rates for the Japanese currency, okay? So when you bet a certain direction on a currency pair, sometimes you get paid money for holding that currency pair in that direction. In other words, if you go long on specific currency pairs and hold it for a while, you get paid money. It's kind of confusing. If you go short, for example, on some currency pairs, it, you owe money. Money will be deducted out of your account. Kind of strange, but, well, it's not strange, but kind of interesting and hard to understand. But some of the smartest and best investors that I've known or ever read about love the carry trade. But these are almost always long-term, long-holding investors, people who trade and hold, or people when they do their trading, hold for weeks or months or years. Because when you hold it for that amount of time, if you're holding in the proper direction, the direction in which you get paid, if you hold it for months at a time, you're just getting paid. You're getting paid to be in a trade, and hopefully the trade goes in your direction at the same time. You get double the money, which is awesome. This totally has reminded me of the dividend trade in stocks in the stock world. Books upon books, again, of really, really smart people with boatloads of research have said that dividend investing is the best way to invest. Why? Because when you invest in stocks that pay out good dividends, you get paid to be in a stock while hopefully your stock goes up. Kind of the same thing, right? However, I always felt the carry trade was for someone else. I don't like holding trades for that long in Forex. I don't mind it in stocks, but I don't like it in Forex. So I just always put it aside and never bothered to pay attention to it. I mean, day trade, if I'm holding a trade for an hour, carry trade is not relevant, right? Anyway, so let's table that. So years ago, I started my robot research on my way to becoming 100% robotic. And I wanted to start in the world of Forex because Forex is bi-directional, meaning there is no long or short bias in Forex, right? For example, stocks. A lot of people, again, a lot of smart people, are long only in stocks. They only go long because shorting is dangerous. It's a different group of traders. It's much harder because you're borrowing stocks and, and there used to be an uptick, down to. There's a lot that goes on with going short. Plus, a lot of people just don't like being pessimistic. A lot of people don't like betting against other companies. They just, it's just not psychologically fulfilling. So anyway, a lot of people go long only in stocks, bottom line, fine. But I didn't want to just trade one direction, one direction. Um, I wanted to trade both directions. I figured that's double the money. I wanted to be in the market. I wanted to be active. So when I started researching robots, I gravitated toward Forex, as I mentioned. So as I'm going along testing, I started realizing, huh, this is funny. Forex is bi-directional. It should be equally good either way. And yet there are currency pairs that are dramatically better in one direction specifically, only one way. And I thought, that's really, really weird. And initially, and I've talked about it before, I think, initially I thought, well, the bottom line is this, it's a second bottom line, the, bottom, the second bottom line is this, that maybe it's one group of traders just like going long and a totally other group of traders like going short. I mean, we know that there are different traders on each side of the market. It's a different set of analysis and so forth. And I thought, well, isn't that just quaint? It just happens to work on this particular set of traders. Then, though, I've heard major hedge fund managers or CTAs, whatever you want to call them, 
talk about they go long only when they're trading currencies just because they like their charts all to go one way, which just totally baffled me. They just like trading upward. They like seeing their trades all go one way. He said it, not me. I thought that was fascinating. But underneath all this, this is what I found out. There are some currencies that work dramatically better, according to my research again. According to my research, they work dramatically better just going one direction. Interesting. And then, recently in the past several weeks, a couple months actually, I started researching and I noticed something. The currency pairs, and not always, but on most of them, the currency pairs that do better going only one way in the market have the carry trade behind them. Meaning what? Meaning that the carry trade was positive in certain directions, and yet the trading systems, the robot testing, work better in that direction. And that's why I'm doing the post today, the video post today, on the day trading carry trade. What I stumbled upon a while ago is that it works better in systematic trading when you're staying on the side of the carry trade. When the carry trade is favorable, it's easier to trade that way. And this kind of blew my mind. I don't know if it, if it blew your mind when I just said that. But I thought this is fascinating. So here are some numbers. I wanted to show you exactly what I mean in case you can't follow. Here is an Aussie Yen 15-minute robot. This is one of my original robots that I tested way back in 2013. So it's been trading untouched for quite some time now. But when I tested this initially years ago, I found that the Aussie Yen doesn't work well short. It just wasn't that profitable. I mean, it was a tiny bit profitable, but nowhere near the trouble of trading short. Long worked just way better. I mean, it was dramatically better. Huh. So I made this robot. I didn't bother even trading it short. This robot never goes short in the market, which again, I thought was weird because Forex is supposed to go both ways very easily. Okay. Let's take a look at the numbers. Here is the strategy performance report for the Aussie N robot since 12-26-2004 all the way through today, November 18th, 2015. And I did this on a hypothetical $100,000 account. And keep in mind, I haven't touched this since 2013, okay? Here's the profitability. Total net profit, $192,000, 800, $866. It's decent, nice little profit. A uh, couple other quick stats. Uh, it took almost 1,700 trades. So there's a really nice sample size for this particular robot. Win percentage is decent, above 60%, psychologically pleasing. The average trade winning is a little bit less than, not a little bit less, it's less than the average losing trade, but that's what the price you pay for having a nice win percentage. I love this little stat. It's won 18 in a row with only four consecutive losers over that time. And of course, this is almost 11 years of data. Um, max drawdown is about 30%. Typically, an investor can see about 30% drawdown. So that's why I use this particular number and this particular hypothetical account size. If you can take a bigger drawdown, you could trade this on an even smaller account and do even better. All right, but that's so that's a little background. All right, so if we take this profit and add it to our original $100,000 hypothetical, it comes out to this. An average, an annual average return rate of 10.5% per year. And all I did was took my little financial calculator, I plugged in 100,000 for my beginning value, and then I added 192,000 to my 100,000. So that's 292,866 at the end. So 100,000 at the beginning, then almost 300,000 at the end. I plugged in how many years it traded, and I said, what's the average annual return? And my calculator spit this out, 10.5% per year with no carry. All right. That's not bad. Now, this is just one robot, right? I would recommend trading a whole portfolio of robots, and I've written about that extensively. But let's just say you just wanted one robot, you wanted to keep it simple. Okay, 10.5% per year, not bad. I mean, every year, 10.5%, that would make you a pretty darn good trader, right, to make that number. You're not setting the world on fire, but that's pretty solid. And it's only a 30% drawdown. So you'd have to risk a 30% drawdown at some point to make 10.5% a year. Very reasonable, right? At least it's reasonable to me. But here's what I want to show you and the point of today's video. Roll over credit, $28,860. What that means is that while I was taking these trades, and these trades 
or day trades, right? They're over in a day, practically. Sometimes they're over in minutes, within a half hour. Over this time, I would have gotten paid $28,860 because I only went long. This would have been just naturally added to my account. This is not included in the net profit, by the way. And I confirmed this with TradeStation when I've been doing my research on this a while ago. This, this is what you would make on trade, and this is what would be just added to your account. And I believe that TradeStation adds it just at the end of day. I mean, it just it's on your statement. You just go in and say, oh, roll over credit, blah, blah, blah. So now, because I only went long, the quote-unquote carry trade, here's what the numbers changed to. I would have made an extra $28,860 just by trading this robot in one direction. It's pretty amazing, right? I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. What does that do to my overall account size and return? Well, that now changes the return. If I added or started with $100,000, then took my $192,000 profit, added the $28,000 of rollover credit I get for going in the right direction, quote unquote right direction, now my return turns into 11.4%. And on a big account, if you're trading a big account, that's nothing to bat your eyes at sideways. I mean, that is something that you you really need to respect. At least it's respectable to me. I don't know how you feel. It's 28, almost $29,000 just by trading in one direction. Now, I could have traded a short and made a little bit of money, but I would have had a rollover credit that was negative. So at the end of each day, over years, over time, a certain amount would have been credited out of my account. So this is just fascinating to me. You can build a portfolio in Forex of just carry trade friendly robots and you can make a little extra money on the side. So guess what I'm going to do? In the process in the next days and weeks to come, I'm gonna build a portfolio of robots that's carry trade friendly and I wanna see how that affects my returns. I would love to be able to take every trade, hopefully make money and then have a little rollover credit on the side too. So that's a day trading carry trade, fascinating. You are a day, if you are a day trader, you can make money too on the carry trade. And that's something that maybe you weren't aware of. If you have any questions, you can email me. I'll leave my email at the bottom of the video. And I will see you in the next video, uh, maybe next week, or at least in the blog post next Wednesday. Bye for now.